Uh, side A will be recording a new record here in Ljubljana during the Jazz Festival. I'm actually about to start rehearsing with Hovard Beek and Chad Taylor uh, to work on brand new material for that album. Um, the first record we made, uh, the three of us had worked together in different contexts, but we never played as a trio. Uh, everybody wrote music for the project, um, but none of us really knew what direction the music would go or what direction the trio would take. Um, and it was kind of a, an experiment to see which music worked best, how to develop the material together. And since we've been playing uh, after making that record, the identity of the band has really come together much more thoroughly. So the new stuff is all written in the uh, context of knowing what the band's about now. So I'm really curious to see what Hovard and Chad have brought to the table. Uh, we've all composed three new pieces, so a total of nine uh, new works for the band. So definitely, since the first record, a new margin was made, the uh, trio has gone in a specific direction and will be developed more thoroughly here in Ljubljana, which is really exciting. Uh, in addition to playing with Side A, I'm also going to be performing in a quartet with Peter Brotzman, Hamid Drake, and Chad Taylor. Uh, that quartet will be different for lots of reasons in the Side A performance, not least of which uh, all the music will be improvised on that concert. Um, I'm not sure what to expect, uh, except that there will be lots of intensity and energy. All the musicians involved are uh, incredible performers, incredibly creative, and uh, working with Peter over the years has been a major source of inspiration for me, uh, both from a musical standpoint and otherwise. Uh, he's an extraordinary individual as an artist and as a, as a human being, and the celebration of his work here in Ljubljana uh, for the festival is really extraordinary. I'm excited to go to the art opening tonight uh, at 8 o'clock and to see uh, a retrospective of, of his painting from the earliest period till now. And um, playing with him will be really a joy. It'll be ex extremely challenging and fantastic. And uh, I work with Hamid Drake quite a bit, especially with the DKV trio. We've been uh, doing lots of work together over the years and of course then with Chad in the Side A project. So there's a lot of history there even though the group has never played as a quartet before. I think the communication will be great and it'll be a beautiful concert. I'm really looking forward to that too. Um, I don't really have a vision for jazz saxophone over the next decades. Uh, I play the saxophone but I'm more interested in music um, and the instruments are important of course and the saxophone and clarinets are my voice, so to speak, but to decide or think about the nature of that instrument and its future is not so interesting. It's too particular. I think the thing that's more curious and fascinating is the direction of improvised music over the next decades. I mean, we're in a very exciting period right now with lots of hybrids, new hybrids of music happening, connections between rock music and jazz, uh, history, connections of different kinds of music around the world, new composed music, you know, and you can hear that actually in Side A. Hovard Beek is very interested in composed music from the late 20th century, and that shows up in his music and sometimes in my music as well. Um, these new hybrids don't really have categories yet, which make them very exciting because the, the nature of the music being played is not defined, it's not categorized, it's not codified. There's no schools of this particular, these new branches, let's say. And that's a good thing to be happening. And I think over the next uh, decade or so, we'll see real innovations happening in the music um, connected to improvisation. And I'm excited to be a part of that and to find out where that goes more so than where the saxophone goes.